What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be checking out the D-Drum Hybrid Snare Drum. Oh yeah. And yes, I said hybrid. Do you know what this means? Well, let's turn it over and have a have a look inside. So this thing has a built-in drum trigger. Would you look at that? And for all you noobs who don't know what a drum trigger is, basically it transforms your acoustic drum into an electronic drum. There's an XLR output right here on the shell, so you can plug this drum directly into your electronic drum module or recording interface. And there's multiple reasons why you'd want to do this. First of all, it's a lot of fun just playing around with a lot of different snare sounds, especially at just the push of a button. You can use it to replace your snare sound or layer them both together to make it sound extra beefy. Or if you like the extreme death metal stuff and you want to play Gravity Blast, you can use the trigger to boost your volume. But yeah, since this is an actual drum and not just an electronic pad, the drum itself is obviously going to make some noise too, so we're gonna test that out. The shell is made from birch, so it should give us a nice bright attack sound. The size is 6x13, the finish is called Satin Black Lacquer. Pretty sexy looking. Diecast Hoops comes with a Remo UT coated head. I have no idea what that means. You guys know I'm an Evans guy, but we'll give this one a shot. And one more thing to mention, I've seen some people online saying that these hybrid triggers are just the really cheap red shot triggers. So I reached out to G-Drum and they confirmed that this is not the case. These are based off the Acoustic Pro triggers, which are the really good ones. I think some people maybe get confused when they see this red piece right here on the top, which is not the trigger itself. This is kind of just the cover or trigger identifier lug. And really my only complaint if I have to be a little bitch and find something to complain about, this snare trigger is only a single zone, so we're not gonna get any cross sticks or rim shots, anything like that. Definitely seems like a nice snare drum build though, it's good quality, and it's only 200 bucks. Pretty good price. So let's get it tuned up and mic'd up. Okay, here we go. Wow, forget for a second that there's even a trigger inside. That's a really good snare drum sound just by itself. How about a blast beat? Portnoy shuffle. Yeah. All right, now let's plug in our XLR cable to the side of the drum shell and we'll test the trigger. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty accurate.
Alright, so now let's have a little fun blending some sounds together using the acoustic sound of this snare mixed with some samples. Hell yeah. This thing is great. So much fun. And I was not expecting the drum itself to sound as good as it does, especially for 200 bucks, but there you go. I will put the Sweetwater link in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And we'll see you next time, fuckers!